some soul-stirring disco and some serious sequins, Sister Act the Musical is lifting spirits on the Great White Way. We're here at the Broadway Theater to get the lowdown on this fabulous new show. Why are people responding to the story so much? First the movie and then... Story. It's a good story. There's not, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. You know, and you can bring your littlest kid and you can bring your great grandma and, you know, it's, it's fun. And what's better than singing nuns? We're excited for Whoopi. We're, this is Sister Act, and she's our sister, so we're yes. thrilled for her. This is our Sister Act, as Barbara's been saying all night, and we honestly couldn't be more thrilled for her and just gave her a big old hug and a kiss, so we know it'll be an incredible success. It was a great movie, so funny, and she was great in it. And I think putting music to it is a brilliant idea because it, it really begs you to put music to it. You know, they're dancing anyway in the movie, and you can just really see it as a musical. So what, are you, what are you most excited about seeing? Just the whole show. I mean, while we were, they were all working on it concurrently when we were all do, working in Los Angeles. And so I would hear bits and pieces of it and hear things that were changing. And so it's just nice for them that it's finally come to fruition here. Got such good reviews in, in England. So my expectation is like, you know, a nice, good Jewish musical, right? Like it's a bunch of Brighton Beach memoirs type Neil Simon-esque. What are you most excited about seeing this evening? All the nuns, dancing and singing nuns. I mean, what could be better than that? Yeah. <laughs> Sad to say I've never seen the movie. Oh. So um, this is, I'm I excited know. to see it really, truly for the first time. I did grow up Catholic, so I, I did grow up rather frightened of nuns and priests. But I like these nuns because they're funny. <laughs> Not only a Broadway opening for a great show, but a Broadway debut. You must be so excited. I've been nervous all day. I've had goosebumps all day. I mean, it's just been so amazing. I'm so happy. It was the most fun. I have my family here, my boyfriend's here. It was amazing. Whoopi showed up on stage at the end. It was, a, it was a big night. It was a big night. The audience was great. The show was fantastic. I'm immensely proud of it. And I'm immensely proud of the cast because they trust the work and they execute it like a beautiful machine with great humanity, great honesty, and great joy, you know? So I'm a happy guy tonight. And the cast was so high because the audience was absolutely fantastic. You're gonna have a good time when you come to see this show. And the audience tonight just given us all the love they had. It was wonderful. Tell us about the excitement of the Broadway opening night. It was exhilarating. It was like the people were screaming so loud. I thought like, a celebrity had walked in, but it was just a good show. That happens sometimes in New York. Now the audience had a great time. They were from the first laugh they were there, and it was laughing consistently all the way through, and at the end everybody was crying and laughing and applauding. We've been laughing and having a good time since the very first day of rehearsal, and the very first audience we had, and you know, they were just so excited and had such a good time, and it's just been going that way ever since. It's been great. What can people expect when they come see it? Well, they can expect a whole bunch of glitter. It's a whole lot of fun, you know. Um, I think from the beginning until end, you're laughing all the time. It's just really hilarious. It's set in the 70s, so it's really funky. It's groovy. And it's just a big, big fun time. Two hours and 30 minutes of fun. I think what's wonderful about this is that not only do you have a wonderful time and you smile and you laugh, but there are also some really heartfelt moments and really touching moments. And I think it also is wonderful for any kind of demographic, any kind of religion. It's, it's not specific towards one thing. People don't often think nuns and think disco. Like, it's not a real logical combination. Why do you think it works? Well, because nuns and disco, I mean, you just said it. Who wouldn't want to come see that, you know? You know, I went to a parochial school, so I, I know what it's like to have a nun, you know, don't do this, don't do that, and smack your hand with that ruler. Like, that happened to me, I lived that. So. I think people just don't even fathom the idea of a nun like dancing or getting down and grooving. So it's funny. It's it's funny, and it you know I watch the show you know from the wings every night for the scenes I'm not in, and you know I'm laughing, I'm having a ball. Like I laugh every night, you know. So when some of the nuns are like looking into the wings, they can see me there like just laughing and cheering and dancing right along with them. People are fascinated with nuns, and in this show, the nuns get to have fun instead of having fun of them with. I have more prepositions and I use them at will. How are nuns going to celebrate a Broadway opening night? You know, uh, very carefully. <laughs> How do nuns celebrate a Broadway opening? Well, um, I saw some champagne. 
out there. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little thirsty. How does Mother Superior plan to celebrate an opening night? She's going to go home and go to bed, but I'm here. Uh, she's she's busy praying, but I, I, I can't pray tonight. Well, I am. I'm actually I'm thanking God for a great opening, but you know, but I will have the occasional adult beverage. What is your greatest sin? What is my greatest sin? Pizza. It's got to be pizza. Can't walk by pizza, obviously. If you look at me, I can't walk by pizza. What is your greatest sin? <laughs> you know, come back and ask me after I've had a few drinks. <laughs> I eat too much, I drink too much, I party too much, which you're keeping me from right now. Uh, well, then I'll stop immediately. Thank you.